Larry, wake what? up. What? Uh, something's wrong. What is it? I don't know. I can't explain it. Oh, I'm so frightened. <sighs> Holden? Holden! Is that you? Holden! Oh, it's you. It's really you. What a sight for sore eyes. Whoa. Well, you. Careful, Lucinda. People might think that you're glad to see me. I'm not glad. I'm overjoyed to see you. Lily needs you. You come just in Lucinda, the nick of time. I am the last person in the world that Lily needs. You don't know how much I want you. How much I need you. Diego, no. today by Pringles. So fresh, once you pop, you can't, you can't, you can't stop. Mark. What are you doing out here? Got some things on my mind. This is where you come to think, Cal's Barn? Yeah, something like that. All right, let's try this again. Mark, what are you doing out here? Lily's up there. With him. With Diego? Yeah. The man that killed my wife and killed her husband. Where did you get that idea? From you. In Templeton, you're the one that said she was going after big fish when she got well, killed. Well, whoa, whoa, whoa. We were talking about a man named Umberto Melzone. That's right. That's Diego. How did you jump to that conclusion? It wasn't much of a jump. When I had time to calm down and think about what she was trying to tell me when she died. I thought she just said the name Umberto and that he was dead. Yeah, that's right. That's what I thought, too, at first. So what do you think now? I think what she was trying to tell me is that Umberto is Diego Santana. But that's just a hunch, right? Do you have any proof? No, not yet. All right, Mark, let's assume, just for argument's sake, that Jones did stumble across something that linked Umberto and Diego. Shouldn't you be going to the FBI with this information? What are you doing out here in the middle of the night at Cal's stable? Freeze! Show me what's in your hand. I don't know. I don't know. Something just doesn't feel feel right. Isn't right. I think we've been waiting to get together for months. I know. I know. But I mean, do you realize how many times we've wanted to make love, and then something just gets in our way, pulls us? Too up. many times. It's like a door slamming in your face over and over and over. I know. And you've been very, very, very patient. But you know, maybe it's uh, fate that's slamming the door. <sighs> Lily. Please, tell me what it is. I mean, we're engaged. We're going to be getting married in a few weeks. Mm. You said you loved me. I do, I do. It's, I just think... What? I thought you wanted me as much as I want you. I do. Yeah? I love you. And what? Oh, you know, I don't know. It's just like we've waited so long, and we set a wedding date, and... I don't know, maybe... I don't know, it just feels like... Mm, what? I don't know, like... Maybe fate wants us to wait. You know, how mm. perfect would it be that the first time we made love was on our wedding night? <sighs> oh, 
Holden, no, no, Holden, my friend. My friend Lily needs you more than she ever did. Isn't that why you're here, to see her? No, I'm uh, home to see my mother. Well, of course you're going to see your mother. Actually, I'm he... uh, here to say goodbye because I'm leaving the country. Oh, no. No, 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 you can't do that. You can't do that. Not now. Lucinda. <laughs> no, you can't. I mean, don't you know what's going on in Lily's life? Yeah, I know that she's met someone. He's bad. I know that she's very happy, and I know that she's going to get married to him. No. I mean, and she's not going to. And this engagement party, it's a lie, because she doesn't love him. Yes, she does. How do you know that she does if you talk to her? I overheard her. I heard her propose to him. You heard her propose to him? Yeah, I was in the stable. She didn't know I was there, but I overheard her. Well, never you mind, never you mind what you think you heard. If she marries this man, this will be the worst mistake she's ever made in her beautiful young life. What are you afraid of? I don't know. I had a dream. Honey, it's all right. I can't remember it. Well, you know, everybody has scary dreams no, no, once in no, a while. No, it's different than that. <sighs> well, you're awake now, and I'm here. You're safe. I'm right beside you. Oh, uh, I can't get rid of this, I don't know, feeling of doom. Honey, is it more than a dream? Do you, do you feel sick? It's so hot in here. I think you're having an anxiety attack. I... It's okay. No, no, don't do that. I can't breathe when you do that. What is it? Are you, are you in pain? Kim, talk to me. I've got to know how you feel. I don't know. I don't know. It's tight. Tight in here. I, I'm I, getting I, you to the hospital. You think I'm being foolish, don't you? Lily, it's just that we've waited for so long that to wait even a minute longer. I know. It's, just... it's not any easier for me. You really mean that? Of course I do. Yeah. It was really important to you, wasn't it? Yes. I know, I probably sound like I'm being very old-fashioned. I didn't say that. Well, I mean, it's kind of silly if you think about it. I'm a, a woman with a child. I've been married before. I shouldn't be making a big deal out of this. No, look, I'm glad that you are. Because I agree, I agree. And it's a, it would be a mistake to ignore fate that's trying to tell us something. And you understand? I understand that you want to wait until we get married, sure. A lot of people in my country feel the same way. Thank you. Oh, I just want you to be happy. And if waiting until our wedding night will make you happy, then we will wait. I guess you want to go home now. No. No. No, no, I want to stay here with you. Overnight? Uh, unless you don't want me to. No, I, I do want you to stay. It's just I, that you... I want to stay in your arms all night and, and talk. <laughs> talk? Yeah. There's still a lot you don't know about me. Oh, really? Yeah. You've been keeping secrets from me? Oh, maybe just a few. <laughs> this, um... Talk. Mm -hmm. Am I going to have to take notes? Because I don't want to miss anything. Seriously. I think you should know what you're getting yourself into. In case I want to change my mind? Is there a chance of that? None. Good. Then by dawn, you're going to know everything there is to know on the subject of Lily Grimaldi. Good. Because that's my favorite subject. <laughs> But, um, is this talk going to take all night? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, of course. After I finish my life story, it's your turn, sweetheart. Oh. Well, then, you better drink a lot of coffee to stay awake. No. Oh, don't worry. Mm. I'll stay awake. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you know, my existence is pretty dull and unexciting. <laughs> Somehow I find that hard to believe. No, this is this is true. You uh picture this. We got from choir boy to physical therapist, a life and times of Diego Santana. Pretty fascinating, huh? Oh, don't forget. I know all about the survivor who sold the dinosaur eggs. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm definitely gonna need that survival instinct tonight. 
Oh? Oh, sure. Because if I'm going to be lying next to you in this bed here, not be able to make love to you, I need everything I can get. So, uh... Ugh. What about you? You gonna be sleeping in your clothes? It's a good question. Here. Why don't you put this on? was the worst mistake Lily ever made. Oh, it's not funny. This is serious. <sighs> All right, I'll bite. What have you got against Diego Santana? Okay, look, if I gave you the whole story, I mean, we, we don't I'll have I'll take the, the short version. Okay, this is the short version. He came to Oakdale with an agenda and with false credentials. He came with the intent to destroy my family. <laughs> Man, does that sound familiar? He doesn't love Lily. He doesn't love her. So that he, he, he can't love. He's inhuman. He's a cancer. He's a psychopath who's committed unspeakable acts. Like uh, ignoring your wishes? Oh. You know what I think, Lucinda? I think that you're putting him down because you don't think he's good enough for Lily. But then again, who was good enough for Lily, Lucinda? Oh, Holden, I know I did that. I did many things in the past, but just hear me. Hear me out. No, I heard enough. Please, please, I'm... Uh, Lucinda, I'm look, this I'm... is old news, okay? Diego is just another guy in a long line of men who aren't worthy for your daughter. No! This is different. No. It's different. It's not. So what? What are you going to do? You're going to try and break them up, right? Well, I am not going to help you, Lucinda. Please. I am not going to help you because, from what I can tell, Lily loves this guy, and she's going to marry him. What's the matter with you? You haven't heard one word I've said. This man I is heard, a dangerous man. I heard everything you said, and, and you're a dangerous woman, especially to Lily. Please. Please. I'm begging you to stay. Please, Holden. Please. Lucinda, forget it. Forget it. Oh, Holden, please. Holden! Come back! Mark, hand me your gun. It's not mine. It belonged to my wife. It was her backup gun. Too bad she didn't have any other backup the night she got killed, huh? That was a tragic accident, Mark. No, there's no accident, Mark. Umberto Mazzone killed my wife, which means Diego Santana did it. Mark. Oh, come on, Mark. You know Umberto and Diego are the same person? I do not know that, and unless you have proof, you don't know it either. I don't have to have proof. Diego Santana killed my wife. She's gone, Margo. Did you think he cares? The whole town tour showed up tonight for his engagement party. They showed up to honor Lily. Yeah, she's a widow now because of him. I was on Damien's plane, too. You think I don't want to get to the bottom of that crash? And why haven't you? I am trying. Whoever is responsible for Davian's death, whether it's Humberto or Diego, whoever it was is not going to get away with it. Yes. Well, yes. Look, Mark, I'm not going to pretend that I knew Jones better than you, but I did know her. And I do know that if she were here tonight, she'd tell you you're playing a fool's game. She'd do all she could to talk you out of using that. She'd tell you to back down and let the professionals handle it. The professionals? The professionals? You mean the, the federal butchers of investigations? Now you mock her. You pretend to honor her. You know she didn't feel that way about the FBI. No, she didn't. She respected the law and the system. Yeah, but it let her down. The system failed her. No, it did not fail her, Mark, but you will fail her if you continue like this. Do you really think she wants her life revenged by you wasting yours and your future? Do you really think that she wants to be remembered by you spending the rest of your days behind bars, Mark? A common criminal? No. Hand me the gun. Mark, if you won't do it for yourself, you do it for her.
I hope you like it. Oh, I do. It's beautiful. Well, look, if you want to wear something else because you want to save this... No, one... no, no. I'll buy something else for our wedding night. Oh, no. What? My engagement ring. What, what, I, I don't know where it is. Oh, oh, all right, okay, uh, calm down. It's probably down here somewhere. Oh, I can't uh, believe that I lost it. it. No. Do you, uh, do you have any idea where the last place was at just saw it? Do you remember at it all? At the party after you gave it to me, I was so excited. It, it didn't fit me. It was a little loose. I didn't think it was that loose. Oh, so the last place I saw it was at the Falcon Club. Yeah. It must be there. Okay, I know it because I don't see it. I tell you what, I'm going to... I'll go there. See if I can find it, all right? Okay, thank you. Oh, I feel like such an idiot. If I lost that ring. Oh, look. Don't worry about it. You know, everybody at the party, they all knew who you were. They're all friends of yours. Someone found it, we'll get it back. Right? I know. I feel so stupid. I mean, oh, come on, don't worry I'm about so, it. I'm so happy to get that ring from you and then I'm to lose it. You know what? I'm just gonna think positive. Right. <laughs> just think positive. I'll be right back, okay? to make a toast to my beautiful bride-to-be. She made me happy beyond my wildest dreams. She's changed me. She's given me a new life. I've become a different man because of her devotion, her faith, and her love. To Lily. No. No, no, no. Umberto Malzoni is not going to marry my daughter. If Holden Snyder can't stop that creature, I will. And now, part two of As the World Turns. Dr. Honey did an EKG oh. on my wife a few days ago. I wonder the uh. results of that and all of the tests that he did. Yes, sir. I want you to call radiology. I'm going to send her up for a chest x-ray. I want all new blood work. Uh, ABGs, CBC, Chem 20. Start oxygen, uh, six liters. Uh. Honey, we're going to redo all the tests that Harney did. Uh. And we'll, uh, we'll start by drawing blood, and we'll, then we'll do the EKG, okay? Uh. Okay. okay? All right, just relax. Uh. All right? Okay. Hey, Bob, Kim, uh. what's going on? Uh, Kim woke up with a uh, constriction uh, in her chest. Is that her only symptom? Well, you know, she's been complaining of some back pain for a week or so. That was a full muscle. Yeah, well, we're going to find out for sure. Uh, You're doing an echocardiogram. Yeah, and I also want a, a, a chest x-ray. Well, this is not an emergency. Honey, please. No more talking. Yes, Captain. Please, Mrs. Hughes. Yes. Uh, okay. I need you to turn your wrist over. Okay. okay. And this may prick just a little. Uh -huh. Uh, Bob, why don't you let me take over? I'm fine. I can handle this. Look, you're a little too close to this, okay? Please, take good care of her. Good. Okay. Mm. It's okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, right. but I'm staying right here. Mm. All right. Mm. All right. Uh, Kim, yeah. while they're getting ready for the EKG, mm -hmm. I want to listen to your heart and lungs, see what's going on. Uh, then I want you to describe exactly what kind of discomfort you've been having, okay? Okay. All right, sit up for me. Okay. Me. 
Chicago. What do you think you're doing? Not what you think I'm doing. Nothing happened. I thought you weren't going to sleep with him. I'm not. I'm not. He just bought me this wonderful outfit and he wanted me to put it on. You followed us? Look, I couldn't take the chance. Did he say anything? No. But he will. Don't worry. I saw him leave. Well, I sent him on a wild goose chase. To... I pretended that my engagement ring was missing and he went back to... To the Falcon it. Club. Okay. Yeah. I had to get rid of him for a while so I could get rid of this thing. Get it off me. And when he comes back? I'm spending the night. Lily! What are you... Are you out of your mind? Do you think he's going to keep his hands off you dressed like he that? He promised me. We say we're going to spend the night talking and he's going to tell me about himself. But first, I have to find some place to put... Hey, this. What do you think? What if, if I put it in my purse? What do I think? What are you talking about? I don't know anything. I'm about. sorry. I forgot. Lily, you really think that Diego's going to be content just talking? I told him I wanted to wait until we were married. And he agreed, just like that? Yes. I played the destiny card. He really seems to buy into that. Margo, he's not going to force himself on me. I don't like this, Lily. Neither do I. But it's the only way. You said at the party that you were feeling shaky. I was. I was. But I feel much better now. Diego is this close to telling me, Marco. You're determined to go through with this, aren't you? All right, Lily, if you're going to pull an all-nighter, so am I. No, Marco. This is not up for discussion. I stay out of sight. If anything goes wrong, I'm out by the stable. I can't Lily, let you come do on. This. It's a simple stakeout. I do it all the time. It's not a problem. It's going to be a problem if Tom starts asking questions. Margot, if I felt I was in any danger, I would tell you, but I'm not, so you don't have to worry about it. Lily, I wouldn't let a professional do this without backup. He's not going to hurt me. Look, okay, if I run into any trouble, Cal is right next door. Why don't you just go home and get some rest? As if I could get any rest knowing what you're up to here. It'll be worth the wait. Trust me. Hopefully by tomorrow morning, we will have everything we need to put Diego away. If she marries, this man, this will be the worst mistake she's ever made in her beautiful young he's life. He's a human. He's a cancer. He's a psychopath. Oh, hi. Hey, hey, hey. Did you work here? At the club? Yeah. Oh, great. Look, uh, my uh, fiancé and I, we had a private party here this evening, and she left something valuable inside. I was wondering if you'd be Sorry. able to... Sorry. Everybody's gone home. Yeah, yeah, but you have. If you so call you... in the morning and ask for the man, no, look, I really need this now. It's a diamond look, ring. Look, I can't let you in. Ah, I, this is really important to me. Okay. Hey, hey, I don't now need to let me in. It's nothing personal. Oh! Now either you are going to let me in, or I'm going to have to oh! break it. Okay, okay. Let me say. Thank you. No, no, sweetie. I must have I must have just fallen asleep. Oh, it's late. Yeah, well, I got to the station and there was just so much paperwork on my desk. It was just a mountain of it. So I thought, well, as long as I was there, I might as well just do it. I'm Ma, sorry, I lost track of time. I called the station about an hour ago. You weren't at your desk. Well, then I guess I was someplace else. Well, I figured that, honey. Where were you? 
Have you ever noticed that I'm not nailed to that chair? I could have been anywhere. I could have been in the evidence room, in the properties room, in the ladies room. Could have been involved in that Malzoni case again. What is it with you? That's not the only case the department is working on. We could have We've got assault me. and battery. We've got a, a burglary in the plastics factory. We've got a theft in a jewelry Look, store. Look, I realize it's not the same old quiet piece Tom, of Tom, you know what? Right You've got to stop it. I'm tired. And I really don't want to come home to a cross-examination every night, all I mean, right? That's not what I'm doing. Look, I know you mean well. To really be getting to get on my nerves. I think there might be an explanation for that. You're looking for problems where they don't exist, okay? Okay. Okay. Now, if you don't mind, I'm really tired, so I'm gonna go to bed. waiting for you. I see that. Why outside? So what do you want to see me about? How soon we forget. I went to get you some food at Lily's party. When I came back, you were gone. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Connor. I didn't come here for an apology, Mark. I would just like to know what's going on. Nothing for you to worry about. You're awfully quiet tonight. I'm always quiet, Connor. You know that. I know that something is bothering you. Why did you run off like that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should have told you I was leaving. I'm worried about you, Mark. You're not acting like yourself. Well, I've got a good reason. Umberto Melzone. He killed my wife. I know that that's what yeah, you think. Yeah, but it's true, Connor. Okay, it's true. But you heard Margot and Templeton. They will track him down. Oh, yeah, well, they won't have far to go. You think he's in Oakdale? I know he is. I even know where he is. Mark. And he goes by the name Diego Santana. Oh, stop it. I know, Diego. I can't believe that that's true. Yeah, well, it's true, all right? Trust me. Do you know he was suspended by the hospital? I heard, but I heard it was a mix-up with his credentials. Well, it, was no, it was no mix-up, believe me. He's no therapist. He never was one. Everything about him is a lie. But he was so good. He's one of the reasons that Cal is walking right now. He's a user, Connor, and he's a killer. Then why haven't the police done anything? Because they haven't had any proof. But I warned them, now they can do something about it. If what you're saying is true, then why in God's name is Lily marrying him? You tell me. Cal knew... Yeah, that's right. If Cal knew, he'd blow his top, so don't say anything. The cops don't want Diego T Santana tipped off. They want to be able to nail him. I'm, I'm stunned. He just, he seemed like such a nice guy. Just sensitive and caring. Yeah, well, that sensitive, caring guy left a trail of blood a mile wide. I took Joan's gun to the party with me. That's why you left? I was following him. Oh, Mark, you didn't. No. Margot showed up and took the gun away from me. Well, thank God for Margot. Mark, tell me you wouldn't have used it. Kim, uh, you're uh, aware you have a heart murmur? Uh-huh. Since I was a kid. Doctors always said there was nothing to worry about. Have you been uh, feeling in general? She's been feeling great. I mean, Bob, look, I know you're anxious, but you better answer me. <laughs> Bob said I've been feeling just fine until we went skiing. And I started to have a, this pain. Where? Uh, left side of my back, shoulder. Uh, I assumed it was a pulled muscle. It didn't go away, so I brought her in for a check. Uh, right. Uh, can you describe the pain? A stabbing sensation, I guess. Sometimes worse than others. Dr. Arnie said there was nothing wrong. Lord, I feel like a bionic woman here. Great. Look, now that you've finished the EKG, get her down to x-ray stat. I'll, uh, I'll check on the blood work, see if I can put a fire under those people. Look, Bob, I think we should call Neil in on this. Who? Oh, who's that? Neil Marlette. He's new. Oh, he's very good. You'll like him. Huh. I'll put a call into him right away. Okay. Oh. Give 
up on me already? No. <laughs> no one's going to give up on you. How long is this going to take? Well, it's going to take mm. as long as it takes. We're going to get to the bottom of this. I just want to go home. In my own bed. Get some rest. <sighs> If Diego had anything to do with Jones's death, he will pay for his crimes. Maybe. The question is, will I pay for mine? The one committed again. I'm oh, sorry. I... No, you want it, but I'm gonna take. Married her for all the reasons. I'm just realizing it now. What are you saying? I loved her. Not the way she should have been loved. Why are you doing this to yourself? I, I tried, Connor. I tried, and I just couldn't. And now she's gone. That's what's tearing me apart, don't you see? She died thinking I loved her as much as she loved me. She deserved more damage. She deserved more than I could have given her. You made her happy. Everyone saw that. I saw that. Yeah, I'd like to think so. You did, Mark. Well, maybe if I keep telling myself that I'll believe it. But the truth is, I wasn't honest with her or myself. looking for you. Why? Where's Lily? Upstairs. Oh, she's upstairs already. Good. Fine. Because I want to talk to her. Why, is something wrong? No, there's nothing wrong. There's something right. There's something right. It's all over. What's over? What are you talking about? You know perfectly well what I'm talking about. It's over, Umberto Mazzoni. Good. You still have that pain? Oh, well, it's 
it's not steady, but every once in a while I get quite a zing. I'm, I'm starting to worry about that. Oh, honey, it's nothing. Uh, Come on now. You show me where it is, huh? Oh. Uh, where is it? In this area? Uh, right here. Is that it? Uh, yes. Are you get a twinge? Well, sometimes it's a sharp pain, sometimes it's just a dull ache. It's always in the same area? Yeah. Any other discomfort? No. When you get this twinge, how long does it last? Uh, I don't know. 30 seconds a minute. Who knows? Listen, I just overdid when we went skiing. I don't know. You know, that was days ago. Well, uh, it takes longer to heal at our age. Come on, I shouldn't have said anything. A couple days, it'll be all gone. Okay, no more questions, but I want you to do me a favor. What? I want you to come back to the hospital with me and have a check. -up. Honey. Look, just to put my mind at ease. Okay. Probably right. Now let's head back. Listen, as long as you've got three years to train for the Sydney Olympics, any chance we could walk back? What do you say we hail a cab? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got the x-ray. I've been looking at the blood work. Okay. Honey, what did the test show? Let me talk to Ben for a minute. I want to get you know, Don't speak me like a child. This is my body. I want to know what's wrong. Uh, first, I got through to Neil. He's on his way in. Oh, good. Kim, I really don't like to give a patient a diagnosis before all the test results are back. But, uh, based on what we've got so far, I'd say we're looking at a very serious problem. All I have to do is wait. You've reached the Falcon Club. We're closed for the day, but we'll reopen tomorrow at noon. If you wish to make a reservation for lunch or dinner, please call back in the morning after 10. Call me? It's over, Umberto Mazzone. What? You thought you could get away with it. You tore my son-in-law's plane out of the sky. We thought you were dead. But all the time you were living here amongst us. I don't know who's been feeding you these lies, Mrs. Walsh. Lies? Don't, don't say lies. Not, don't say that to me. I'm with blood all over your hands. You're crazy. No, I'm not crazy. No, I'm not crazy. You're the one that's crazy. You're crazy. And you think I'd allow you to take my daughter away after all you've done? No, 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 no. It's not going to happen because you can't have Lily. She loves me. Now is a good time for you. It would be much easier on all of us if you just left the country or turned yourself into the police. This is quite a story you fabricated, Lucinda. But it's just that, just a fairy tale. If anyone were to hear this ridiculous story, you'd be laughed out of town, and I think you know that. Oh, a cow is very nearby. I've got a big voice. But first, let's go upstairs, and we're just going to tell Lily and see if she laughs. Where are you going? I am going get my daughter and take her far, far away from you. I am sorry, I can't let you do that. Take your hand off my arm! <laughs> thought you were a shrewd woman. But you know what your problem is, Lucinda? You just talk too damn much. up on the CBS Evening News. If he loses, how much is O.J. Simpson really worth? 
We'll investigate later. This is Dan Regan, inviting you to join us again Monday for As the World Turns. on the CBS Evening News. If he loses, how much is O.J. Simpson really worth? We'll investigate later. This is Dan Regan, inviting you to join us again Monday for As the World Turns.